Hello there, and how are you doing today? Oh, you are. Oh, some of you are doing very well. Others, well, who can say? No matter, I'm always glad to have you here today. Now, on my side here, you can see that I have a special guest. He goes under the name of Silly Grandad on YouTube. But his real name is Michael Rowley, and he's from the other side of the Pennines, the western side of the country. Why in the world do they call you Silly Grandad? Ah, oh, well, it's my granddaughter. Every time I try to take a photograph or a video, she would call me, Oh, you are Silly Grandad. <laughs> so you just used it? So I just used it. Oh, wow. Now, Today we're going to be making a special flight that Michael has done before and uh, but before we get into that Michael used to be in the Royal Navy in the air wing of the Royal Navy and he wasn't a pilot then but he flew in several different kinds of aircraft. Well, tell them the aircraft that you flew in. Well the, the first ones were 819 squadron in Sea Kings uh, up in uh, up from Presswick. Hmm. And then I moved down south to the south coast and flew with 781 Squadron uh, with dove, doves, uh, which are known as Devons in the Navy, and herons hmm. on the communications flight. Very interesting. Wow. And you did that for how many years? Well, I was in the Navy for 10 years. And we have a picture to show you of this young man. Can you believe this young man? That and how old were you in this picture? About 21. <laughs> wow. Time does fly, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. And of course me, well, this was me back in the day. <laughs> ha! Yeah. You can laugh, I had hair in those days. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? <laughs> oh, we were so strong. We could leap tall buildings in a single bound and we could run faster than a speeding train. But nowadays, getting to the bathroom in time is always a success. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you left the Royal Navy, of course, you actually did take some flying lessons. Yes. So what did you fly? I, I learned to fly in a Piper Cherokee and I uh, went on to do some twin engine conversion to a, an Aztec, but I didn't actually finish that. Ah. I ran out of money. Oh yeah, well they're not a cheap aeroplane no. to fly. Uh, you know, I mean, those things, they, they guzzle all the petrol in those, my goodness. Yeah, they're not cheap. Now, we are going to fly today from where? Uh, today we're going from Manchester, EGCC, all the way up to Edinburgh. EGPH. And we're going to be starting out at stand... Uh, 54, I think it is. 54. That's where all the Ryanair uh, general parking area of Ryanair at Manchester. Yeah, it's close to the car park. Close to the car park, okay. And when we get to Edinburgh, we don't know what stand it'll be yet, but we'll find that out when we get there, is to find out if there's an open slot and we'll move into it. Because we are Ryanair and resistance is futile. <laughs> you will be assimilated. <laughs> or did someone else say that? Hmm. Now in a minute, we're going to go on to the computer and have a look at the weather. And just looking out at the window right now, well, it's cold, it's rainy, and it's cloudy. So yes, Father Ludovic, yes, yes, you've got us this time, I'm afraid. We are only 10 degrees Celsius here. And look, hopefully, we'll get up to 13, a blistering 13 degrees today. That's about 56, 57 degrees Fahrenheit. 
But Father Ludovic was telling me he was in 33 degrees Celsius heat. And in Fahrenheit, that's, well, it's Must in the over 100. Yeah, it's warm. And they didn't have air conditioning where they were, but we do here. We just open up a door and it's natural air conditioning. <laughs> so, all right. Today you've won. Italy won. Britain nil. But next week's a different story. Right then, let's, let's go and have a look at the weather and we'll look at windy.com. Oh, there are no direct flights between Manchester and Edinburgh. Believe it or not, I looked, I searched everywhere. There's no direct flights. You can get to Edinburgh by going via Madrid. You can get to Edinburgh by going via Amsterdam. You can get to Edinburgh by going via Heathrow. Can you believe that? No direct flights between the two points. So we're going to be breaking new ground. So we'll be making our own flight plan, seeing what happens. And we'll look at windy.com for both airports, see what uh, the weather is like. Then we'll go into Navigraph and to Simbrief and make ourselves a flight plan, see what happens there. And then we'll go into Navigraph and we'll put all of that flight plan together so that we've got all the charts necessary for our flight. After that, we're into the 737 with Captain Michael at the helm. How does that sound? So let's have a look at the chart, shall we? Well, here we are at windy.com and we're looking at EGCC, which is Manchester Airport. And here's the airport right here. And you can see the wind is blowing directly from the west across the here. According to the Meta, wind is 260 degrees at six knots. Visibility is 10 kilometers or more. Clouds broken at 300 feet. Now, because of that and the overcast to 800 feet, as you can see, it is IFR in Manchester at the moment. So that's going to be interesting for the departure. We'll see how much visibility we've actually got when we get there. So uh, not going to be much to film outside, but we'll do our best. Looking at the runways, Here's the airport and stand 54 is right about here. So we don't have very far to go to get to the end of this runway, which is two, three right. And that's probably the one that we will be departing from. Now, having a look at Edinburgh, let's see what they've got. Now it's got minimum VFR, it says here. So that's an, oh, that could change, of course. And here the wind is still blowing across basically from the west, but a little bit now at 230 degrees at 12 knots. So it's this good stiff wind. Clouds overcast at 1,200 feet. Hmm. An hour ago, it said it was IFR, but it's down to minimums at the moment. So again, that could change. So let's have a look at the runways. In all likelihood, we should be coming in on this one, on runway 24 for our landing. And then we'll see where we can go to park after we land. So that's the weather. It'll be interesting to see how Simbrief brings that up. So let's go into Simbrief now. Here we are. We're ready to make a new flight plan. So here we go with Ryanair. We are flight 186. And we're departing from EGCC. We're going to go to EGPH. 
and it's got EGPK for an alternate. You know what EGPK is? EGPK, that's Presswick. That's Presswick, okay. My old stamping ground. Oh, well, if we uh, can't land, then get, guess what? You're going to go back there and have a look. <laughs> anyway, airframe, we are Ryanair. I've got that already built in. And there's the profile six. Registration number is right there. Passengers, we are always full because we are very popular with all that free champagne that we give out. And that ton of cargo, that's all of the extra... Uh, supplies of champagne and caviar that we carry for our lovely passengers. Now this is giving us a, um, a Paul Hill One Yankee. Um, I don't think the One Yankee, the One Yankee doesn't work, does no, it? No, it's Paul Hill Five. It's the Five Yankee, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to change that to Five Yankee and then analyze that. Oh, it doesn't find the all right that's interesting well we've just updated navigraph haven't we so it might have changed well this is this is using the 2106 current yeah. i'm wondering about that Oops. yes it's uh, we will probably have to change that when we get in because i don't think uh when i did this earlier just to test out things i don't think the paul hill one yankee I don't think it liked it very much. All right, analyze the route. It says it's valid. It's 176 nautical miles. So easy peasy. And there is the flight route. Yeah, there's, and there, if we don't make it into Edinburgh, then there's Presswick down there. Right, we'll go up and we will save the flight and then generate the flight plan. Just takes a minute. There we go. Now this is interesting, it's giving us flight level 240. And there's the basic route, so Pole Hill, then the November 601 to Inpip. And that's the approach for Edinburgh. According to this, we will be using 5,352 kilograms of fuel. Yeah, that would keep you going in your car for a year or two, I think. Now let's have a look at the weather plates and see what uh, what's on those well there's no frontal movement so we're, we're looking good on that oops let me bring that down again now here's the wind for flight level 180 it looks like we have a bit of a headwind leaving and then a crosswind on our flight. Let's look at the next one. This is the one that it's recommending that we fly. So here you can see there's one and a half feathers on the wind. So we'll have a little bit of a headwind. And this one is at 30,000 feet. Hmm. Well, it's six of one, half dozen of the other. We're not going to get any benefit from this. So we will use what fuel we use. Here's the profile. The troposphere is well above us. And you can see the wind pattern coming up here. Yeah, we'll be fighting some headwinds going up, crosswinds. Well, it will be interesting, but then again, that is the flight of Ryanair. Right, let's go ahead and go into Navigraph and bring this in and assemble all the plates that we're going to need. 
Well, here we are in Navigraph and we click on flights. We click on new flight and then we click on from Simbrief. And that's the flight plan that we just made. And here's the route. There is everything that we need. So the first thing that we want to do here is we want to bring up the charts list. We want to bring in the airport, so we will put that in. We need the parking stands and coordinates. The Poly 1.5 is right here, so we'll bring that one in there also. And let's have a look at that just to let you see what it's all about. See, there's the route from the airport, swing around. And there are, of course, some noise abatement procedures and some very strict uh, altitudes. For instance, at Pole Hill, 5,000 feet. And maximum speed is 250 knots below flight level 100, that is 100, isn't it? Yes. Unless otherwise authorized, which means we can't do it, but ATC can. <laughs> and that's how that goes. And then over here in uh, the charts list for Edinburgh, we'll also bring in the airport. We'll need the parking stands. Uh, we'll be coming in on runway 24, so we'll be using the category 3 ILS approach. And I'll bring that in. And then we'll be using the IMPT1E, so that will then be this one. So let's bring that up. So there's the route coming in, and that's the approach plate. Now we'll join this up and we do that by going to the approaches. In fact, first of all, let me just bring up this one because this we want to make sure that this route shows up on Navigraph. You know, you know how to do this, right? We just click on approaches. We go down to ILS runway 24 and it's the TLA. Snap on that and look at that. It brings in our route just perfect. So then we follow this all the way on in to Edinburgh. Easy peasy. So close that, close that, and there is our route for today. Straight up the Pennines, hang a left by the North Sea and drop into Edinburgh. Well, what do you think? Nice, simple flight in theory. It's a nice, simple flight in theory, exactly. But with the weather, then, well, things could change and get very interesting. So, I tell you what, let's throw caution to the wind and jump into Ryanair 186 and crank her up. Shall we do Let, that? Let's do that. All right, here we go then. Oh, hello there, welcome on board. Please make yourself comfortable in the jump seat. Here we are, stand 54 at Manchester Airport, and the weather is awful. Where's the other guy? Well, of course, he's first officer today, so I've sent him out in the wet and windy to make sure we've got the same number of engines we left the factory with. The wheels are all in the right place. There's no leaks, abrasions, dents. And if there are any, you can cover them with the masking tape I gave him. He's also, hopefully, going to give the windows a bit of a clean. Ah, there he is. Come on, get on with it. <laughs> Mr O'Leary will be taking it out of your salary. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right, that's where you are. Now get in there, get buckled up, stop messing about. All right. So what do we do first? Right, first thing to do is get some power on. And we do that by using the battery switch. 
starts us up, we've got some voltage so we know the battery's charged. Next thing is get some uh, f the, the fuel pumps on and we're going to start the APU. And back to the middle there, that's it. We're looking for the EGT to start rising. EGT stands for exhaust, exhaust gas, gas temperature. temperature. There you go, right, perfect. Well, that is interesting. Now people say we've not done this before. No, oh, no. <laughs> and look at all of this weather out oh, there. Look at this fog. Terrible. The fog is swirling around here. My goodness me. Oh, the EGT's come up nicely. We're just waiting for the blue lights. Now we'll put the power onto the uh, APU. Oh, we've got the switch in place, so yeah. that works out. Yeah, and it's dropping now. Just a matter of seconds. Yeah. Our Boeing build good aeroplanes. Oh yeah, they do. They certainly do. Well, they've had enough practice. <laughs> there well, we go. go. We now have 115 volts coming from the generator. So, I'm over here, so I may as well turn on the APU bleed. And let's have the air conditioning on. And clear out all of the bad stuff in the cabin. Yeah, and we'll uh, align the... Uh... Right, yeah, turn them onto a line. There we go. There we go. So, galley is on. Emergency lights are on. No smoking. Fasten seat belts. Attendance. Uh, uh, two teas, please. Two teas. No sugar. No sugar. Right. And then the left and the right window heat. We'll put the probes on. And there's the hydraulic pumps. So we're looking good. And we'll put the position lights and anti-collision lights on a little ahead of time so it makes us look like we're very important. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so things are looking good so far. Now, our flight plan said for 24,000 and of course our landing altitude is 300, is it 300 what? feet? Is it 350. Yeah. 350. Okay, we'll check that in a minute. So we've got all the basics are all running. Right. Right. Time to program the FMC. So we're making sure we're in the right aircraft and we've got the right nav data. That's what the first screen's for. So we're going to send our position. Okay, we're at EGCC. So we're at EGCC and we're at gate 54. That looks right to me. Gate 54, yep. Yeah. So we'll select that and enter it. And that's looking good. Going to route. EGCC and the destination EGPA. Okay. Our flight number is RYR one eight six. Right, page down, and now what's our route? Right, so okay, we're going direct to Pearl Hill, P-O-L. Then via November 601. To Inpit. That's it. Activate. Execute. That's it. Now we'll go to departures and departure. Now we need to tune in to the 
eight it is and see what it is. So confirm. what's the frequency? It's one two one point nine seven five. One two one point nine seven five. Manchester Airport information. Whiskey one zero two seven Zulu wind two seven one at five visibility five sky condition ceiling three hundred overcast temperature one six two point one five altimeter one zero two two landing and departing runway two three left and runway two three right. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact. You have whiskey. Right, we want we to have whiskey and we departing then runway two three right. And we're going to be using, well, it looks like uh, there isn't another one, is there? No? It's got to be the cold air fiber. Yeah, we'll do that then. And then execute. And then departure of arrival again. And this time to arrive. No, I don't. Nope. All right, that's it. And we're coming in on, what? Did it, what is it coming in on? Uh, it's suggesting 24, ILS 24. And the, is it the MP1E? MP1E. Okay. And, wait a minute, it's also the TLA. That's it. And execute that. All right, let's uh, go to fix. And let's put in our fix. And right slash, slash four. And there we go, slash 10, and slash 13. Okay, now we go to legs, and let's just check out the legs and on the plan. I'm going to step through and make sure everything works. All right. So, so far, so good. Now we're looking for discontinuities. And we found one. All oh, right, so yeah. just press that and then bring it up to the blank one. Okay, and then execute. Then that makes the line solid. Continue through the steps. And there's that little circle round to get to the active. And that's it. And that's it. We, we win. We win. All right, go back on to map. Now we need to go to descent and put in the forecast. And forecast. And we need them for 200, 150, and 100. And the Q and H at our destination it is one zero one nine. And then on a couple of pages down on this, two hundred. We got two seven eight seventeen. Fifty, we've got two seven five and sixty. And uh, one hundred two five seven nineteen. Next to that. Alright. Now we'll go into route and we'll perform the initialization. The total plan fuel, that is the trip and the taxi plus that's, the flight. That's 2478 and 2200, so that's going to give us 4.7. So, 4, 4, so it's 4,678, comes out close then, as you say, to 4.7. So we'll put 4.7 in. And the reserves, what does the reserves? reserves is 2.5. 2.5?
and then double click on zero fuel weight for the computer to calculate. Cost index six, that's where Ryan there. And cruise altitude, let's see what it will give us. Now, we're supposed to be uh, 24,000. Let's see if it will take it. Uh -huh. Yeah, it did. It went to 26,000. Yeah. All right. All right, so that's what we'll take then, if that's what is coming in. So what's the cruise wind? Cruise wind is... There we are. Average wind? 293.14. And transition altitude is 6,000 feet, so that's good. So we'll execute that. And let's go to N1 limit. We'll do, we'll just, we're not going to bother about noise abatement. We'll just, we'll just rattle, we'll rattle the window. So it's slash 16. Do you want to say it's accepted it? Take off. Take off. Uh, so Lapse five. Lapse it's a long way. runway. That's and right. double click to enter gravity and it'll calculate. Four, so. Seven, and 4.79 on the trim wheel, we've got that. And then the V1 rotates and V2. V2, and we'll put V2 into... And it's 146, is it? Yeah. Okay. All right, now what we need is to put in our headings. Yep. We're going to be departing on runway... Two, what? Three. Two, three. So what... Yeah. So what's runway 23 departure heading? There's 232. All right, 232. Good, right. Now we'll click that up, click that up, push this, push that. We have a good, it's accepted it, so we'll put that on, put that on, put that on. And what's our destination, uh, what's the ILS frequency at our destination? ILS frequency at runway at uh, Edinburgh is uh, 108.9. And what's the decision height? Is, is that radio? 50. Radio. 50. All right, I'm switching to radio. Would you put 50 in on that? Let me, oh, there we go. Okay, we've got that in. And just confirm, what is the uh, elevation of the runway at our destination? It is. At the top there? Yeah. I've got the wrong glasses, I just need to see. Uh, Elevation, oh, it's, uh, it's runway elevation is 100, uh, airport elevation is 136. So, so it's 150. 136, so it's 150 I've got on here, good. That way people's ears won't pop in exactly. the back. All right, so everything is checking out. All right, we need to get our IFR clearance, so we'll tune in to the clearance yes. delivery. One, two, one. And then ask for... Manchester, clearance delivery, Ryanair 186, ready to copy IFR clearance to Edinburgh. Ryanair 186 is clear to Edinburgh Airport and file. Flow runway heading, climb and maintain. 1,000 departure frequency is 118.575, score 0112. Ryanair 186, clear to Edinburgh Airport, as filed, fly runway heading, climb and maintain, 1,000, departure on 118.575, score 0112. Ryanair 186, red correct, contact ground on 121.7. Manchester, airport information, Yankee 1043, Zulu, wind 2. 
Manchester ground, Ryanair 186 with Yankee ready to taxi IFR. Ryanair 186, taxi to and all shorter runway 23 right, using taxiway Golf Juliet runway 5 left, Juliet contact tower on 118.625 when ready. Bombardier Zulu November Kilo continue taxi. Taxi, hold short, runway 23 right, via taxiway Golf Juliet runway 5 left, Juliet Ryanair 186. Right, we are ready. Roger, Bombardier Zulu November Kilo. Push back and everything else. So Manchester, ground, Pacifica 3664, taxi to the gate. Manchester, clearance delivery, world travel. I'll cut them off so that we can hear the ground uh, people. So, go to menu, and go to FS actions, go to pushback. We're, what, so uh, you're the captain, yeah, which knows, knows right. Knows right and degrees. Going from yesterday, we'll do 90 degrees. All right. And then at the top, we do. So if you're ready, let's uh, do a start. Everything's looking good. Okay, if you're ready then, Captain, let's, uh, let's, start. let's, push, back. let's push back. All right, break the ground. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our left. Roger that. Ready for pushback tail to the left. Please break, break, please. Which engine are we going to start today, Captain? Uh, we should start uh, number two today. Brakes released. Okay, number two is ready. As soon as we start pushing back. Here we go. All right, switch to okay, start valves open. And is building. That is coming up on here. EGT is building up, and it's almost at 20 now. When we get to 24, there we go. Produce some fuel. Well, the weather's still murky out there, yeah. but we might be able to do everything today, get away, before they close down the airport. <laughs> All right, low pressure light has come off. We're looking good on that. Engine stable. And, and there's the engines. All right, starting engine number one. We have voltage on generator two, so we're going now to one. Six building. Push back complete. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Brake set. Fuel introduced. And we're looking for 150 volts up there and no pressure light is still on. Watch for the slip release from guide center right now. Good flight. Thank you. Thank you indeed. And it's building up. So en engines have caught. Listen to that. You can hear them coming on. Yeah. All right. So. We've now switched to the main generators. We've turned on the air conditioning. Turned off the APU bleed and turned off the APU. All right, go to route, take off. We we'll have to verify the speeds again. Is it still 146? Yeah. Okay, go to regs. And it looks like there's a queue out there. That two aircraft already in the stack. All right, everything is looking good across the board. Right, RTO, laps five, and it's asking for verification again. Is it still one four six? Yeah, that's good. Flaps are 
transit. Okay. Everything is ready for taxi. Lights are on. Brake is off. TCAS is now on. And so recall is checked.
designers of P3D, if you notice, they have got that front wheel directly on that yellow line. Which is more than I'm doing. No, it's, it's actually, it's quite amazing when you think about it, how they can do that so accurately. And we're Ryanair, so we cut corners anyway. Manchester Tower, World Travel, 9254, it's 20 miles northeast, inbound, ILS, runway 23, right approach. World Travel, 9254, Manchester one Tower, Main Street, runway 23, right, altimeter 1022. Fly Street, runway 23, right, World Travel, 9254. Manchester Tower, orbit 3137 is 18 miles northeast, inbound, ILS, runway 23, right, approach. Orbit 3137, Manchester Tower, fly straight in, runway 23, right, altimeter 1022. Make straight in, runway 23, right, orbit 3137. Recall, check, flight control, check. Manchester Tower, Pacifica 558 Niner, ready for IMR departure, runway 23 right. Pacifica 558 Niner, cleared for takeoff, runway 23 right. Cleared for takeoff, runway 23 right, Pacifica 558 Niner. Right. 
side, okay? All right.
you ask. I mean, you've just got to go and talk to them and they will give you a discount. Well, the clarity of picture is really good. Well, these are 4K screens, but obviously I'm not running 4K, but I wish I could, but my computer isn't powerful enough for that. Even so, it's very, very good.
we'd used four, you would have stopped. Ryanair 186, turn next taxiway. Oh my goodness, they nag, nag, nag. They are impatient. Yeah. Ryanair 186, contact ground on 121.75. 121.754. that 
that stuff, yeah, they they stick it to you. I don't think the new means of is as bad anymore because I don't think they've got as much control as they used to have. And here's number one. If you turn left here, start your turn so you can straddle that line. And go slow, you're 10 miles an hour. You're going to. And that's it. You're down to three, that's good. That's good speed for going in, good control on that. No, you should keep turning. Keep turning, keep turning. And now let it just drift in. And everything will line up behind you. There's nothing that makes passengers waiting in those holes up ahead more nervous than a plane <laughs> that's coming in very fast. <laughs> We're at the stop. That's it. So pull back on the power. Brakes on. The power is off. All right. Lights are off. And seatbelt signs are off. And starting the shutdown procedure. and ready all we have to do is turn off the APU turn off the fuel and turn off the battery which that's see. it now you may have noticed that a good first officer does all the work while the uh, captain takes all the glory absolutely well that's why you've got all that gold braid on your shoulders <laughs> my goodness yeah. okay well here we are. Welcome to Edinburgh. All right, if you'll shut down the APU, shut off the power, uh, the uh, fuel, pumps. fuel pumps, and shut off the battery. All right, we're well, shutdown is complete. We're here in Edinburgh, and the passengers are running off to go get some of that free duty-free stuff at this international airport. It is an international airport, although I don't think they're going to get much of a bargain, <laughs> not these days. So what do you think of, of Ryanair 186? Ryanair 186 is very, very good. Um, there are other expletives you could use, but it's one of the best I've seen. I've seen a few, but this is definitely one of the best. It's very well put together. And you like the screens? These yeah, are. the screens are really, that makes a big difference. Yeah. Um, because of the point of view, you can actually feel as though you're moving, even though you're not. Yeah. It, it fools your brain. Yeah. It's not bad at all, no, is it's it? Not, not bad at the all. The frame rates are fantastic. <laughs> well, we've done well. What are we at now? What is the frame rate here? We're at 30... It's 34, 35. That's not bad. And, uh, really good. Yeah, for an airport like this, this is a pretty densely yeah. uh, detailed airport. We've got Edinburgh Extreme, isn't it? It the is, UK Edinburgh Extreme. UK 2000 is Absolutely the brilliant. manufacturer. And that was also the one for Manchester. Yeah. That was a UK 2000 scenery as well. But we didn't point out the pub before the runway. Oh, we <laughs> didn't, did we? Oh, well. That'll be for the next time. And there will be a next time, Michael. Oh, yes. So, thank you, silly granddad, for coming to fly Ryanair 186. Oh. And we'll see you the next time around. Thank you very much for the invitation. And everybody else, we'll see you anon. Bye. Bye.